Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. You saw that I had my profi or my protein coffee this morning. I have that every single day. That's what helps me start my day off with 20 to 30 grams of protein. I put my collagen for her, my Just Better Fiber in there, and I start the day off on the right foot. Of course, I'll link collagen for her and Just Better Fiber down below for you with a discount. Then a little bit later, I had some breakfast, and now I am actually ready to start my work day. I have a couple of coaching calls today, and I have a really good dinner recipe, a crock pot recipe, so it makes it really easy in the hot months when it's warm outside, you just throw your meal in a crock pot. So we'll go and put that together next. But I wanted to share with you you not only my outfit of the day, but also a little bit of a clothing haul. So you guys know that I've purchased from Sam Peel before. I actually shared Sam Peel here on my channel. They're an online, affordable, high quality clothing website. Actually, this dress, I'll pop in a picture here that I wore when I was in New Orleans, came from Sam Peel, and I have worn all of the other pieces that I picked up in my last haul several times. So I decided to grab a few things for summer, and then there was a black leather jacket jacket that I had been eyeing on their website and I decided to bite the bullet and pick that up as well. So first let's start with the outfit that I'm wearing today. Everything from my jewelry to this cute little romper is from Sam Peel. This is the round neck short sleeve drawstring ruffled jumpsuit. It is $39 before any discounts. It comes in red, blue, and black in sizes small through extra large. Now I do have a discount code for you. I went ahead and picked this up in an extra large. I typically size up with Sam Peel. Most of their clothing does run a little bit on the smaller side, so I usually try to size up. However, I could have ordered a large in this jumper and it would have been just fine, but this is very, very comfortable. I love the functional drawstring waist. I love the ruffle on the leg, and you can either wear this off the shoulder like I have it here, or the way that I had it in the try-on where it just kind of sits nicely, evenly over your shoulders. This is so buttery soft and so lightweight and so comfortable. You guys know I love rompers. I pretty much have been living in rompers since my surgery and that's why I decided to wear this today because it's easy for me to take it on and off. If you didn't know, I had plastic surgery recently on my chest area as well as my back and I can't raise my arms over my head. So thank you to my lovely husband for helping me with the rest of today's try on haul. But this romper is really simple for me to get on and off and it is so high quality and so comfortable. And my little dual necklace here here, I also picked up, this is quintessential summer jewelry. This is the Bohemian Crystal Clavicle Necklace. You actually receive both pieces for $14. I love that it has the starfish and the palm tree and these really fun pearl type rocks on it. It is so beautiful and it is really high quality. I mean, both pieces for $14. It is fully adjustable, so I made one a little bit shorter than the other. It's a, the perfect necklace for summer. It's beachy and it's adorable. I did decide to pick up a pair of black jeans. I don't have a lot of black jeans and I really like jeans that have a little bit of a distress cuff at the bottom and I've been really into button fly jeans for some reason versus zip up jeans. So I picked up these jeans from Sam Peel and like I said, I love the whole distressed cuff at the bottom of these, but there is no other distressing on the jean just at the bottom, which I really like. These are the black button high rise slim jeans. They come in black in sizes small through extra large. I did pick mine up in an extra large. I absolutely could have sized down to a large. These have a lot of stretch and they were a little bit baggy in the booty area and the thigh area for me, but I think once I wash and dry these, they will fit perfectly. And I always like a little bit looser fit jean rather than a really tight fitting jean. These are 
they're $42 before any discounts and these are a nice high quality denim and like I said I love the distressed bottom of these just a staple piece to your wardrobe and then I fell in love with this top the minute that I saw it on the website this is so cute it's a little dressy perfect for barbecues cookouts summer parties this is the lace bear back lace up top it actually comes in red green and black sizes small through extra large i picked mine up in green and in extra large now i'm glad i got an extra large because this fits me really nicely it's flowy but it fits in the right areas a little bit tighter like across the bust area i love the little capped lace sleeve the lace detail of the v-neck but my favorite thing about this is the little tie and the little bit of an open back i find that that makes it a little bit more on the dressy side so like i said this would be perfect for little for summer parties and i love this emerald green color and in fact i thought this looked really nice with the black jeans i've also been loving sweater type tank tops for summer that's that is what is in style is sweater material summer tops so when i saw this cute number on the sampio website i had to pick this up this is the round neck sleeveless knit tank top it actually comes in white khaki pink blue gray and black sizes small through extra large I went ahead and picked mine up in an extra large I could have sized down in this it's definitely oversized but it still fits me great is flattering and like I said with a wash and a dry it's going to be perfect I love that this is a tank top but with a wider with a wider piece across the top the pocket on the front I think adds a nice detail but my favorite thing about this was the buttons down the back I think that is so cute I think it adds just an elevated look to the top it is a little bit on the see-through side you could actually see my bra through the top which I was wearing a nude bra so that was a good thing but I would recommend maybe throwing a tank top or cami under this or a bathing suit top would be really cute under this as well but this is very nice quality and the sweater tank is $28.99 before discounts now you know I love denim shorts I pretty much live in denim shorts so I thought that I would pick up a pair from Sam peel these are the middle waist tattered denim short they're currently on sale for $26.35 and they come in sizes small through extra extra large I did pick mine up in an extra large there is no stretch to these so these are tight on me I definitely could have sized up to an extra extra large which I wear a size 10 to 12 usually so this is one of the pieces on the Sam Peel website that definitely runs on the small side and because there's no stretch there's no forgiveness so definitely size up if you're interested interested in these shorts I do like the tattered design along the bottom however the base of these the bottom leg of these is a little bit more flared than I like because of my loose skin it sits right at the top of that so you can see all of my loose skin so not my favorite cut of short and like I said they did run a little bit small so they're pretty tight on me I am going to go ahead and donate these to my local women's shelter I just don't see myself wearing them because they're tight and because they definitely accentuate my loose skin but if you don't have loose skin on your thighs they will be they are a flattering cut just not necessarily for my body type but I'm glad that I tried them out and for $26 that's a great price plus any further discount Discount. Speaking of denim, I love denim. I love denim anything and I have always wanted a denim top because I thought this would be super cute with a skirt or even with the black jeans. I did go ahead and pair this with the denim shorts, but this is the turned down collar sleeveless denim shirt. It's only $22.10, currently on sale on the website, and it comes in sizes small through extra large. I did pick mine up in an extra large. I'm definitely glad that I did. Now, around my body, I could have sized down to a large, but because I have the plastic surgery on my chest area and I have implants it definitely was a little bit more snug across the chest I am still swollen a little bit and things aren't quite where they're going to be so once they fall into place and are where and the swelling goes down this shirt is going to fit across the chest area perfectly but it fit me beautifully otherwise I love the detail here on the sleeve I love the cap sleeve the length of this is perfect I like that the buttons are covered by a piece of material so it's definitely a little bit more dressy I know I'm going to be wearing this a lot this summer I actually think it's really cute with this necklace set that I picked up and with the denim shirt came this cute little floral piece of material now I would think this would be really cute in the hair or you could tie it around the neck to pair it with the denim shirt I didn't try it on because I don't have my hair up but if you threw your hair in a ponytail you could tie this in and pair it with the denim shirt and like I said it did come with the shirt now the jacket I said I saw this leather jacket on their website 
and immediately fell in love with it. I didn't pick it up last time and I knew if I was going to place another Sam Peel order, I was definitely going to grab this. This is the Lapel Zip Up Waterproof Leather Jacket in Black for Women. It comes in sizes medium through 3XL. I picked mine up in an extra large. I'm really glad that I did. I would say that this definitely runs a little bit on the smaller side and it's because it does zip up diagonally. So I would size up in this jacket, but I absolutely love it. I love that it has the tie around the waist. You can take this off or put this on totally your preference. You can wear this over open or zipped or partially zipped like I did in the try on. And right now this jacket's on sale on the website for $51.77. That is a steal for a leather jacket. It is so weighted, such high quality. I love all of the zipper details on this. This is so cute. I can't wait to wear this all fall and winter. Like I said, I've wanted a leather jacket for a while and for just over $50, you can't beat it. Especially for how high quality this is and how cute this jacket is no regrets picking this up. So that is everything that I ordered this time from Sam Peel. As always, I will link everything I purchased down below for you and I have a very special discount for you. So I'll put that down in the description box as well. So I'm going to get together my first water for the day. I'm really focused on getting in at least 80 to 120 or more ounces of water every day. You know I love my Stanley Cup, my Lululemon, but look at this beauty right here. This is the newest product from Uba Home. I'm obsessed with their pre-portioned plates. I share them a lot here on my channel. I love their pre-portioned bowl. I put my cottage cheese and fruit in there. All the measurements are on the bowl, so it makes it really easy and quick to put together a serving of cottage cheese, yogurt, really anything, up to about a cup and a half. And they just released this water bottle. This is absolutely beautiful. The bottle itself is glass. It does have time marker, so it allows you to keep track of your water, make sure you're drinking it throughout the day, how much you're drinking. I love the bamboo carry lid. It does not have a sip spot or a straw, but I just use one of my metal straws that I have at home, and it and that way you can use whatever straw you prefer in the water bottle. And like I said, it does screw on and has a super cute bamboo carry handle, and it fits in the cup holder of your car. I love the sleeve that's on here. It is removable as well, and like I said, it is a glass bottle. It's absolutely beautiful. I've been loving this. It's been the water bottle that I've been using a lot, especially if I'm going anywhere because it fits in my cup holder where my Lululemon water bottle doesn't. So I'm going to get my first bottle of water going for the day. So I made some cucumber mint water. This is one of my favorite water concoctions to make. I've been trying to stay away from water enhancers, especially if they have aspartame in them. So I've been just infusing my own water in this glass pitcher that I got off of Amazon. It does have a large opening and then a slotted opening. So I use the slotted so that the cucumbers and mint actually stay in the water bottle but again it infuses all of the flavor I'll link my Amazon water bottle down below for you so I'm going to fill up my water bottle about three quarters full add some ice and start working on my water for the day I will link the Uba home water bottle down in the description box for you with a discount code I'm about to get on my coaching call and it's time for a morning snack. I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I'm actually going to have the healthy eating all the time and go bar. This is the Chia bar. This is 205 calories and has 15 grams of protein. I love the chia seeds in here, even though they get stuck in my teeth. It's a nice addition, a nice healthy, clean food addition. These bars are really, really good. I go in spurts where I eat them all the time and then I forget about them and I've been on the spurt of eating them all the time. So I will link these down below. I do have a 12% discount code for you. This is a small business and these are nice, clean ingredient, super macro friendly bars. They're usually peanut butter based or almond butter based. They're really, really good, super filling and just packed with good ingredients and protein. Look at me leaving the house. I've actually spent most of the morning on the couch. I had a coaching call, uh, ate my snack on the couch. I've been working on some videos, getting ready for my summer challenge and my Facebook group. Troy actually has to go to the doctor today at one o'clock just for a follow-up appointment. So I thought I would go out really quickly and get a coffee. So I've been doing my regular four shots of espresso in a protein shake in the morning. And then I've been doing decaf coffee if I have a second one during the day because I am supposed to still be watching my caffeine-ish for the next couple of weeks. So I've been kind of mindful on that. So I ordered at Dunkin' and I got a macchiato, which I've never ordered from Dunkin'. So I'm interested in 
testing this out, seeing how this is. And then I got Troy a donut. He loves their coffee roll. And then I got him a croissant stuffer, which is a croissant stuffed with ham and cheese. So he asked for some food. Obviously he doesn't drink coffee. So let's pick this macchiato up and see how it is. So I've never ordered this croissant stuffer before. So we'll have to see if Troy likes it. I mean, it sounds pretty good. I just saw on the menu that it's 330 calories. So that's actually not too bad for croissant stuffed with ham and cheese. Left the bag right there. Okay. Is this the croissant or the, uh, you're, uh, no, that's not the croissant. oh, that's my donut for my husband. Okay. Awesome. And they're working on the food right now. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Okay, goods are secured. Donut, croissant stuffer, macchiato. I have to say it looks pretty. Good thing there is quite a bit of ice in here because that's where we lack at Dunkin'. And in fact, I've been ordering extra ice, but for this particular drink, that wasn't an option. So what I did is a medium macchiato skim milk because it's a little bit more like a latte so there's definitely more milk and then I did regular French vanilla syrup usually I do sugar-free but I don't know French vanilla sounded really good but I only did one pump normally it comes with three so way less points and calories this way way less sweet a little more coffee and decaf so let's try it out Ooh, that is amazing this is really, really good. It is still super flavorful and sweet, even with just one pump. That is super good. I'm on my, so I'm going to go ahead and head back home. I was going to go get gas in my car for Troy. He's actually going to take Lola to chemo tomorrow, but I didn't bring my wallet. I only brought my keys, so I can't pay for gas. So I was going to go do that to help him out. That way he didn't have to go get gas with Lola in the car because it's almost 90 degrees already and it's 10.30 in the morning. So unfortunately I can't go get gas for him. So I'm going to go ahead and head home. I do have another coaching call this afternoon and it's clean house day. So I'm going to try to help Troy. I haven't been helping him at all clean the house. I can't vacuum or mop because I can't push or pull anything, but I was going to try to help him wipe off the kitchen counters. It is hard for me though to do that like that wiping motion or stretch my arms out. So with my two procedures that I had, I can't bend over because of my back and I can't lift my arms above my head because of my back and my breast implant. So I'm really limited on what I can do. I mean, like I said, Troy has to help me put my clothes on over my head. So we'll see. I'm going to do my best to help him. I told him maybe if anything, I could help him dust a little bit, but I was hoping to help him do a little bit of cleaning because to be honest with you, I am tired of sitting on the couch and watching TV. I really wish I could exercise. I'm hoping that once I'm about three weeks post-op, I'll at least be able to take a walk, even if it's a short walk, just to get in a little bit of movement because I'm legit bored of sitting on the couch. Luckily I can work on my computer still, but man, I miss being active. So by helping Troy clean the house, I get a little bit of steps in and get to be a little bit active, but I'm going to enjoy my coffee and then we'll make some lunch. So we just got a package delivered that I have been impatiently waiting for. Actually, both Troy and I are super excited about this. You guys know we live in Arizona. It's warm here all the time. Sometimes it's really warm. So going outside and taking a walk can be a little hard if you don't do it first thing in the morning or later in the evening, like after dark, and it can still be 80 or 90 degrees at this time. And for Troy, it's really hard for him to go outside and take a walk. Due to his medical issues, it can be hard for him to do a decent amount of walk and make it back without being in a lot of pain. And like I said, with the temperature, with the heat and then monsoon season coming where it just rains nonstop, we decided to invest in a at-home treadmill. And this just isn't any at-home treadmill. This is affordable, easy to assemble, and foldable. So it is perfection when it comes to storage. It doesn't have to sit out all the time. You can com collapse it down and even stick it under your bed. So it just arrived. So we're gonna put it together and test it out. So we decided to buy the Star Power treadmill from starpowergym.com. This treadmill, like I said, is collapsible, easy to store, and you don't have to leave it out all the time. This is perfect for each and every runner or walker to have the ability to train consistently, fairly, and confidently. The treadmill actually comes in several colors, black, blue, green, orange, which is the color that we decided. We thought that it was just kind of a 
fun color to have, red and gray. The one feature about this treadmill that drew us to it was not only the affordability of it, it is typically about $540, but right now it's on sale on the Star Power website for $379. I also have an extra discount code for you. I will put that down in the description box. Besides the price, the fact that it's a foldable treadmill definitely drew us to it. I love that it comes with the Pit Pat app. This is free with the treadmill. It monitors your heart rate and various other data during your run or walk so you call, so you know exactly where your health is. You actually receive the Star Power Sports bracelet. You download the Pit Pat app and it tracks your walk or your run. The app also has some fun games, competitions, and cash rewards for winning to keep you motivated. This is something that's really important because we can fall off the exercise train, but if we have an app built into our treadmill and into our fitness watch that keeps us motivated and we can win cash, that is something that will keep us going in the right direction when it comes to exercise. There's an operation panel and an armrest to make your operation easier. The speeds range from one mile per hour all the way up to seven and a half miles per hour. So you can run or walk and keep track of your exercise. It's equipped with a powerful three horsepower motor, very, very quiet, even at full speed. So you don't have to worry about neighbors if you live in an apartment or a condo and it does hold up to 300 pounds. And the data panel is going to display your heart rate, speed, calories burned, time, and distance. Now the treadmill does not have an incline capability. So it is a flat treadmill, but you can up your intensity by upping your speed. What you're going to receive is the treadmill, the smart band, the phone holder, the security lock. So in the event that you need to stop the treadmill, you just pull the red handle, and of course the instruction manual. It literally took us about 10 minutes to put it together. And like I said, the fact that it folds up and I can even slide this under the under our bed or into a closet makes this treadmill a game changer, especially in small places. I was pleasantly surprised on the quality of the treadmill, how easy it is to push it around because it does have wheels and just the functionality. The fact that you receive the fitness tracker and it tracks all of your data. And I really truly love a good healthy competition. So I love that the app has so many features and is free with the Star Power treadmill. Again, it's on sale currently on the Star Power Gym website for $379. I do have an exclusive discount code for you and I will link it down below. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, I'm making crock pot Hawaiian chicken. I'll probably put some rice in my dash rice cooker right before we eat, but we need to get everything started so that it's cooked by dinner. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. You're going to need minced garlic, honey, soy sauce, ginger, Pineapple, you can use fresh pineapple or I just bought the pineapple chunk in the can. Salt and pepper, I will link my little salt and pepper holder down below, I bought it off of Amazon. Really cute, really good quality, less than $10. Green onions, bell peppers, onions, cornstarch, and some chicken thighs. So I went ahead and added my liner to my crock pot. I'm going to add my chicken to the bottom, season it with some salt and pepper. Then I'm going to add in my chopped up onion and bell peppers. My can of pineapple, I did drain the juice. A big heaping spoon of minced garlic. About a half of a teaspoon of ginger. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of honey. And I forgot to show you guys in the beginning, but you are going to need a brown sugar substitute. I'm using Lakanto Golden. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off. I am doing one quarter cup sprinkled right on top. And then I'm going to turn my crock pot onto low for four to five hours. So I'm going to have a salad for lunch. Now you guys don't see me eating salads a lot because they typically don't keep me full, but for some reason I'm on a major, major salad Kick. So let me show you what I've been doing for my salad. So I do a mix of romaine lettuce and then arugula. I like arugula because it adds kind of a peppery taste to it. And then I did dice up some red onion, mushrooms, bell pepper. Troy and I, like I said, have been eating salads a lot, especially me. So I'm going to use up some more of my veggies. 
I have this boar's head turkey that I want to use up. I just break it up into small pieces and pop it in my salad. A tiny bit of reduced fat feta. I've been using just White House full fat ranch dressing and some cucumber. So let me put together my salad and I'll show you my completed lunch. So here is my lunch. This looks amazing. I ended up putting a tablespoon of real bacon bits and one serving of croutons. I did use two tablespoons of the Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch. That's really going to be where a lot of the points come from, but I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Did you take mommy's spot on the couch? Yeah, you took mommy's spot on the couch. Yeah, somebody just got up for the day. What is it? What is it? What's a daddy? Are you having a rough day, Palmer? I, I know, I know, I know. So for an afternoon snack, I'm having an Oikos Triple Zero yogurt with some granola. We are getting in our protein today. All right, the crock pot just turned off. The Hawaiian chicken smells absolutely incredible. What I did is I mixed together some cornstarch and some water, basically made a slurry. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the chicken mixture and that'll thicken it up. It is on keep warm mode, but it's hot enough that that should still make it nice and thick. And over here, I started some rice in my Dash rice maker. I bought this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. But we're going to have Hawaiian chicken and rice for dinner. The Hawaiian chicken is done. The sauce is definitely a lot thicker after adding in the slurry and the rice just turned off as well. So we have perfect rice. So let me go ahead and plate up dinner and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my dinner. I have chicken, I have a rice. This looks amazing. I did put some green onion on top. I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. Time for dessert and I'm making protein ice cream with a spin on it. I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I've been loving it on protein ice cream. If you are a protein pudding maker, you will love this. If you love to make fruit dipped in chocolate, I'm telling you this product is going to be amazing. So first I have in my ice cream pint a cup of the Fairlife chocolate milk and I mixed in the Clean Simple Eats brownie batter protein. If you love chocolate ice cream like decadent cocoa chocolate ice cream, you will love this combination. And then my new find are yum crumbs. These are dessert toppers. You can put these on strawberries, put ice cream bars, dip ice cream bars in them, add them to protein pudding, add them to ice cream, put them in milkshakes. You have endless possibilities with yum crumbs. These are amazing. They do sell a sample pack. That's what I bought. And you get all the flavors in these little packets. Each one of these packets actually has four servings and a serving is only 35 calories. So what I typically do is put half the packet on my protein ice cream. It adds texture, it adds flavor. This particular one is salted caramel. I have tried so many of the flavors and I love them. Super affordable. I want to say the sample pack's only about $20. So I will link Yum Crumbs down below for you. Highly recommend. I'm obsessed. I'm going to be buying big bags of all of my favorite flavors, but it just adds the perfect texture to protein ice cream. I usually top it with some whipped cream and some Yum Crumbs and it's incredible. So let's make up chocolate brownie batter ice cream with salted caramel topping. So here is my ice cream. This looks amazing. This is a little less than half the pack of the yum crumb. So you actually get a lot in there. It's going to give it that whole salted caramel vibe. I used my Sam's Club Members Mark Birthday Whipped Cream and this is going to be my dessert. Like I said, I will link yum crumbs down below for you. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the meals that I had. Dinner was fantastic. We're loving the treadmill. I love my new water bottle from Uba Home. And of course, all the outfits from Sam Peel. 10 out of 10. I've been wearing this jumper all day. 
It is so comfortable, I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. So I will link everything down in the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website. I will put that down in the description box for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.